Hello everybody, this is Bugsy here for the Sega Channel Lives Initiative. Well, we got a new per we got we got uh eight bit flashback making his Christmas making his Christmas wrong hack of the Sega the Sega Channel. Complete with menus. But not an actual loading screen. I mean, I guess. But it is looking pretty good. You know, like, you know, I was thinking it would have like a loading screen just to kind of like a full loading screen, even though it's not really loading anything. But yeah, so we have another player in the Sega Channel Lives initiative. And you're probably wondering to yourself, what is the Sega Channel Live Initiative? To at least spread the word of Sega Channel Revival and Time Capsule. So other people can see it. Pretty much other Sega fans, people that ain't even really, that only like, the people that only know Sega for Sonic. A way for people to look at Sega's history. And it's all through emulation. Or, you can also put it on the Everdrive. I think you can also put Billy Time stuff on Neverdrive if you really, if you really, really tried to work at it. But, but what I want to say is, Sega Channel lives because it's a, you know, this was just to promote Billy Time, but if more people decide to do it, I'm going to keep doing more spotlights on them. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing some, spot, we're going to do spotlight on it. On 8 bit flashbacks, on 8 bit flashbacks, Sega Channel Christmas Edition. Because literally, I can't think of nothing better than playing another, playing something that is literally Christmas themed. And uh, basically, <sighs> and basically, kind of sharing my love of. I everything Sega with the people that real with people that actually want to see it. I wasn't really going to talk too much about it. I wasn't going to like leave a little blurb on the um, leave a little blurb on the Reddit on the Sega on the Sega Genesis Reddit. But I just want you guys want to know what the Sega Channel the Sega Channel Lives Initiative is. You know how the Dreamcast, you know how people used to say the Dreamcast is always thinking? I would have said Sega Channel Live, but I feel like someone has already done that, so Sega Channel Lives is kind of what we do. It's easy, simple, and you can easily type it in. Which is always important. Like, some people ask me, Bugsy, why do you still care? You ask it. You ask in an old school Sega fan like myself why I care. It's pretty simple. I miss the old days of Sega. Where there was more variety than you could possibly imagine. Not like I'm saying there isn't any variety now. I mean, they're doing, they're, you know, they gave us Yakuza. They gave us the Yakuza series. We finally got PSO2 out here in the States. Which, you know, I'm happy about. Monkey Ball came back and really came back in a remastered form, which I'm like, ugh. Meaning I'm happy and also dis disregard disregard the grinding noise being than what it was. I mean, disregard the grunting noise from being anything sexual because it wasn't. And I and I will defend that all the fuck I will defend it up and down. <laughs> but anyways, but you know, and even we even got and even Sucker Wars had a chance to shine, and then got a phone game, and then we don't know what happened to the series, and then there's a concert in Japan, and I don't think anybody got it. Like there was not like broadcast so. I wanted to, I would have loved to see something like that, but, you know, you know, fuck us, you know, fuck us fans that are in the United States and various other places, 
You know, fuck us, right? <laughs> so, you know. I want... And maybe... It's kind of my hope. I don't know if this is ever really going to happen. Maybe Sega will look at this and be like, Oh, wait a minute. People still remember Sega Channel, huh? Hmm. Maybe we can make some money off of that, finally. Again. You know, call it like Sega Channel Reboot or something. And not just something that only gives you Genesis games. But I'm talking Saturn. I'm talking... I'm talking Saturn, I'm talking Dreamcast, I'm talking Master System. Games that could be translated and come out like maybe two weeks, maybe like a month, month or two. And even other things from Sega's library that we, that only fan translations that we got our hands on. Or maybe even spotlights on those fan translations. I know it's like, I know that's like a pipe dream, but... Hey, it's better than this, it's better than the Game Gear Mini. Can you, can we all just say it's better than the Game Gear Micro? Can we all just like can we all just nod our heads collectively and say it's better than the Game Boy Mi- the game the Game Gear Micro? I mean, let me be real. I used to, I used to have a Game Gear when I was little, and I gotta tell you, it deserves better than what it got. Yeah, I guarantee that shit. I just think, I think it's a jet because yeah, I get it. It's supposed to be small and fit, you know, be on a keychain. But who's gonna be like sitting there playing a tiny little, tiny little Game Gear with your big ass hands? Like, I know I'm not the kind of person that talks about. Oh, well, I have big hands, and that's why I can't grip this little Joy-Con, this little Joy-Con controller thing. But uh, playing the micro with my big ass hands, that you know, you can't really do that. And you know, it's kind of our fault for getting all worked up about you know the micro and thinking that it was gonna be like Sega coming back to the consoles. I've made peace with the fact that we're never gonna get that. I think the Spartan console is gonna be the only thing that comes close if it happens. If it ever happens. But again, I'm not trying to hold my breath, you know. Sometimes. You don't let dreams die. But you you understand that you gotta let them sit. You gotta let them ruminate. Because maybe one day, Sega might go back to the console. Maybe one day. Possibly. But it probably won't exist in our lifetime. And you know what? I'd rather take Sega Channel and people bringing it back rather than rather than get my hopes up that we're ever going to see another Sega Channel console. Again, stuff that's attainable. Even though I always thought bringing Sega Channel back was never really... I never thought it was going to ever be attainable, but it is. I thought I'd never see it again, really. But, uh, Billy Time. And whoever found those Sega Channel prototype demos. I just got to say. I'm glad, because at least Sega Channel can still exist. Even if it is offline, it still can exist. And I love that more than anything. (sighs) I was thinking, if I'm in a Sega Channel Discord, right, would any of you show up? I'm just thinking about it. But I shall see you all. But to everybody that's still keeping Sega Channel alive, 
Thank you. You've made this... You made this late 20-something very, very, very happy. Even in... Even in, like, my most worst month. Even though it's the most joyous month of the year. Some, you know, there are things about this month that still kind of bring me down. But, because I have friends and even just light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to, like, Sega Channel and a bunch of other stuff that I'm looking forward to. It's like I don't even have time to be sad. And Billy Time, if you see this, I know I said thank you a bunch of times, but I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say it again. Thank you, Billy Time, and thank you, 8 Bit Flashback. Because I feel like the Sega Channel matters, not just to me. But to every fan who's ever played Sega Channel. Who's ever spent a night like I did. Beating Sonic 2. And seeing those credits roll and going. I did it. Oh my god I did it. <sighs> or anybody that's. Gotten all the way through um, Streets of Rage, which I've only done once. Or if you're like me, you played the Power Ranger fighting game on the Genesis and you've beaten it like five different times, which I did, which I did when I was like, when I was like twelve, like legit. <laughs> My cousin was in awe of that moment. Because I didn't do it once. I did it. I didn't do it twice. I did it three times. <laughs> so, yeah. And even, I just have a lot of memories towards the Genesis, a lot of memory towards Sega Channel, and everything else in between when it comes to Sega and as a whole. Not like I don't love. Nintendo, trust me. Nintendo will always be a part of me too. But because of Nintendo's business practices some of the time, you know, I, I deal with Nintendo on a I love your games, but I don't like your business sense kind of way, if that makes sense. But with Sega, I deal with Sega because legit, they ain't gonna let these freaking projects go down because you know, no, we're not we're not letting you do it. No, they just keep it going. Although Twip did say they're taking down Sonic fan games, which I'm like, no, they're not. You freaking just want. To, I don't know. I don't know. I think Twip is trying to start some stuff, but I, you know, it don't matter. I ain't gonna ruin this moment, but like, it's. Great to know that Sega Channel is coming back in a big way. And if more people are doing this, then we'll have a bunch of Sega Channels to choose from. Like, how many people will choose, like, a diff like all these different versions of, like, Fusion Fall and Toontown Rewritten and a bunch of other stuff. Or, you know, or, you know, private servers of. You know, Fantasy Star, because there's a lot of those, surprisingly enough. <sighs> well, I'll see you guys later, and remember, Sega Channel lives. Peace. Well, you know, before I go, the Sega Channel experience. Now let's play them something a little classy. <laughs> 